In the Photoshop toolbar, the last and most important tool is to set the foreground and background color. There are two small color blocks here. The front one is to set foreground color, and the back one is to set background color. Click on the foreground color block will open a color picker panel, where you can directly choose any color you want. You can also move the mouse out the panel into the image to pick a color from the image. After clicking Confirm, the foreground color will be set to the color you pick. The same method also applies to setting the background color. In addition, the foreground color can be set directly with the eyedropper tool. After selecting the foreground color and background color, you can switch the foreground and background color by clicking this switch button or using the shortcut X. Here are two quick tips for using foreground and background color fills. After creating any selection, you can use Option plus Backspace if it's a Mac or Alt plus Backspace if it's a PC to fill it with the foreground color. Or use Command plus Backspace if it's a Mac or Control plus Backspace if it's a PC to fill color with the background color. You can also directly use these methods to fill the entire canvas with foreground color or background color without creating any selection. To switch to the default foreground color, which is black, and default background color, which is white, you can click this icon. You can also use the shortcut D. That's for today's video. Thanks for watching. In this series of videos, we will go through everything in Photoshop in a most simple and clear way and also try our best to answer everything in the comment to help. Please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to support this channel.